Hi everyone, this is Dr. Russo. I am here with Jen who has had some nice results with Elemental Heal and she was kind enough to share her story. So Jen, I'm really excited to hearing more about your journey. Great, thank you. So I, I don't know a ton about your case uh, and I try to leave these questions uh, for us to go through in this conversation, but tell us a little bit about the road up to Elemental Heal, your symptoms, maybe you've seen some doctors, maybe you've tried some diets. Tell us a little bit about what was going on up until now. So for over a year, I had just had symptoms that continued to get worse and worse. Um, I had been dealing with extreme belching, extreme um, stomach, dis just a distended stomach. I always felt like I was full, so I was never hungry, but I knew that I was having trouble eating pretty much right before I started Elemental Heal. I couldn't eat anything without some kind of symptom. Mm -hmm. um, I had tried the low FODMAP diet, elimination diets. I had been through extensive testing with my gastro specialist. Um, and I had just finished a colonoscopy and some biopsies with no results that were helpful. <laughs> um, nobody knew what was wrong. And I said to my doctor, have you heard of SIBO? And he said, yes. And we discussed it and decided that um, I would pursue antibiotics, um, but my insurance would not cover them. So um, because I had spent such a long time trying to heal myself and try other methods. Um, I chose to do some research and then I found Elemental Heal. I was pretty miserable by the time I, I wasn't sleeping because of the symptoms and I was having trouble working and thinking. <laughs> so. Yeah, right. So not a very, uh, unfortunately, not a very uncommon story where on the one hand, some good things, you had any major pathologies ruled out by your gastro and your conventional doctors, which I think everyone should. And, and just to maybe reiterate this for people, my position has always been, you should have at least one doctor on each side of the fence, because while there is some overlap in the Venn diagram, there's also differences in what we're looking for. Um, so as to make sure in case there was any kind of God forbid major potentially uh, threatening pathology present, you have that ruled out. So good, we can kind of check that, which is good on the one hand and frustrating on the other because it leaves the person saying, well, what do I do? Uh, and then you also tried some diets. Low FODMAP is a great initial diet to try along with an elimination. So those are both very intelligent first dietary steps to go through. So you really have, you know, had done, I think, a, a kind of A plus job on, on the way up to this point. And I also don't blame you for feeling a little bit miserable because when you're doing this stuff, seeing doctors and changing your diet and not feeling any better, it can be really frustrating. Um, mm -hmm. I'm glad that you arrived at the potential of SIBO or some type of disruption of the flora in the gut. And Rifaxin or Zyfaxin is FDA approved to help with IBS. So that's definitely an option. But unfortunately, as you mentioned, for some people, it's really a battle with their insurance to obtain coverage. Uh, and this is where I think probiotics have a lot of potential utility uh, because we haven't done the analysis yet, but I'm, I'm fairly certain when we do a cost analysis comparing the facts from the probiotics, we'll find that probiotics are fast and cheaper as one option or the elemental diet as another option. The nice thing about the elemental is it can really lead to fairly rapid relief in symptoms. Not to say it's the best option, but it may be one of the more expeditious. Is that what you noticed? Was there a fairly quick response in terms of your symptoms? Yes, I would say within definitely by the third day, the, my quality of life had completely flipped around where it was pretty low. It was if on a scale of one to 100, it probably was at a five and then it was up to 95. Um, and to your point, I think the elemental diet um, and all the other things that I had tried for me, I had been spending so much money on food and testing that um, it just... I really felt like I was out of options and I was willing to just drink liquid. <laughs> so you have to be, I think, ready to do that too. But I was at a place where I was ready to do it, to do it consistently. So yes, my symptoms were, they, I would say they improved after just a day, but almost all of them were drastically improved by the third day. Okay. So yeah. So, you know, again, that, that expeditious response, um, mm -hmm. Was it difficult for you to do? One of the things I'd love for you to speak to, and, and there's, there's no right or wrong answer here, I'm not trying to lead you in one direction, but one of the things people will read about online, uh, depending on where they start their reading with the elemental diet, 
there's some more dated literature that or opinions that elemental diets taste terrible, which is true based upon the early formulas. The the newer formulas with the elemental heel line uh, has <laughs> said some major revisions in terms of flavor profile. Uh, flavor profile. Um, so what did you think about taste? How difficult was it to do? And, and you know, how do those other aspects feel for the person who may be saying, oh my gosh, you know, exclusive liquid nutrition, that sounds really hard. Yeah, it was hard, but um, I, so I'm still using it. Um, but for the first, I took it for 17 days, only that. And um, I just played around with ratios. So ice cubes and do I want to use a third, two thirds cup liquid or a half a cup or a full cup? Um, I purchased the vanilla and the chocolate. I think the taste is fine. I had no problem tolerating the taste for the elemental heel um, formula. And I was really happy because I had read so many stories about um, diets like that tasting really bad. So that was also important to me when I was doing my research and trying to figure out what diet I wanted to choose. I knew that I'd have, a, I felt I would have a better shot if it, if it was getting good reviews taste wise. And it was. Sure. Sure. So you've done it, you did it for 17 days exclusively and have you gone through the food reintroduction yet or, or what does that look like? Um, actually, did I say seven? Was it 17 days? I, I think I'm wrong about that. It was it was just over, I think it was just over two weeks that I did it exclusively. Okay. Yes. So, so then I, um, I did reach out to your health coach and scheduled an appointment because I knew that I had to figure out how to reintroduce food. And I was really nervous about that. Mm -hmm. um, but to answer your question, yes, I have been um, introducing very, very slowly um, the three probiotics and then um, just reintroducing food. And I've learned the hard way from my moments of weakness that uh, things, I guess, things that I don't tolerate or um, how important it's been for me to introduce one, like one ingredient at a time mm -hmm. so that I can really be a good detective and figure out what my body's responding to and what it, what it doesn't like and what it can tolerate. Good. Well, I'm glad that you're going to be working with one of our health coaches. Um, mm -hmm. One of the reasons why I think that the health coaching is, is such a nice complement to something like doing a reset with Elemental Heal is because mm -hmm. from there, you're kind of back into the wilderness of, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, all these various opinions on the internet. And it can be very hard to know, well, what is the best way to kind of parse through all these kind of opinions and really lay them out in a way where we're going to go with the steps that seem to be the most science-based rather than, as you may have heard uh, my criticism, that there's a lot of conjecture on the internet. And I'm sure most of the conjecture is well-intentioned, but um, we should take opinions, filter the opinion through a, a, a filter of science, and then on the other side, we retain hopefully the best recommendations, which doesn't always seem to happen in the field. And that can lead to consumers being really confused in terms of what to do because the recommendations that they get aren't all passed through that filter. So some of the recommendations may be sound, others may be really not very well vetted. It's very hard for the consumer to know which one is which, which one do I do? And that's where the health coaching can really be helpful. Yes, I wanted to, I didn't want to walk right back into the place that I had been um, prior to Elemental Heal, I, I needed a plan and I wanted some support. Probiotics are definitely a, a great addition because those can presumably, and this has been partially demonstrated, the best model that has demonstrated this is probiotics allowing those with lactose intolerance to have a better tolerance for reintroduction of dairy. And there was one study that found that those who were non-celiac gluten sensitive who went on a gluten-free diet actually had a better symptomatic improvement when they also had probiotics uh, on board at the same time. So mm -hmm. the probiotics will definitely help you. And the other thing that I'm, I'm confident our health coach will, will help uh, imbue is not a fearful perspective regarding food, which is another thing that's so easy to kind of slip into, which is reading mm -hmm. about all the, the foods that can be bad, carbs, oxalates, FODMAP, salicylates, you know, all these things. And it can be very confusing and people can start to take six different diets and try to follow all those rules at the same time. And you feel like they've kind of shrunken their life into this, you know, carrots and turkey kind of diet, um, which you know, that's a little more extreme than we have to go. So that, that's why I'm really glad that you're on board with the health coach show. She can really help you through these next few steps. Mm -hmm. And have you started the reintroduction? So you're already kind of foraying a little bit into the reintro? 
Yep, about every 72 hours, I'm reintroducing a food. I'm still staying away from dairy. And one of my slip up was that I let myself have a piece of dove dark chocolate and I was miserable. Mm. Um, But the thing about Elemental Heal was that it really did help me feel like I was starting with a clean slate. So I got my quality of life back. I got some hope. Um, I was sleeping better. So that gave me energy to keep, keep, I know that I'm not finished yet, but it gave me the energy I needed to continue to figure out this food situation for myself. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good. So I think you're on a, on a really good path right now. Um, just a few things maybe to throw out there and you mm-hmm. probably already know this, but just, you know, to make, to make sure I, I um, put them on the board here. Um, look at those oppor- those reintroductions as opportunities to learn. Sometimes I think we can be quick to beat ourselves up. Um, and it's all about how we kind of frame this, but okay, maybe right now chocolate and or maybe the dairy and the chocolate is a trigger for you. Um, and it's frustrating on the surface, but we can file that away as, okay, here's the list of foods I'm going to be cautious with. Come mm-hmm. back to those a little bit later, and I'm sure as you continue working through the food list, you'll find many foods are okay. Mm-hmm. And there'll be that small column of foods that seem to flare you, which as you continue on your journey, that small list of foods should get smaller and smaller as your gut heals. The same thing that I went through, I used to have problems with beef, eggs, spinach, all these foods. And every few months, those intolerances really started to drop off. So just kind of keep that in mind that whatever your reactions are on day one or day five may not be the same a few months later. So that you, you know, kind of keep that overarching philosophy of I'm healing, I'm getting better, and I'm going to you know, cautiously kind of trying to keep expanding the boundaries of my diet over time. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. That helps. Good. Good. Okay. Was there anything else that you want to share with people? Um, I think just, I know that if you are miserable, (laughs) um, it can be very difficult to figure out what works um, and and maybe even to trust reviews. But I wrote a pretty lengthy review um, because I just felt compelled to help other people. I'm truly grateful. And honestly, I I think that um, it has a ripple effect. So your quality of life will, may improve with Elemental Heal, but the quality of life of the people who love you also improves. Um, I, I were, I'm a vice president of an educational um, or, uh, educational program, so um, I'm able to do my work in the world that I couldn't. I was really struggling with. So yeah. I think it's important. Yeah, and I'm grateful. Yeah, so well, thank you. And, and I'm so glad to hear that. And I, I couldn't agree with what you said more. And that's one of the... Um, facets of, of the work that we do that makes me so proud of the impact that we're having in the world is that knowing there's all these people out there who are presidents, vice presidents, mothers, fathers, um, you know, they're, they're functioning in their lives, like you said, and they're showing up with more energy, vitality, a happier mood, more energy. And that has a big impact on how you're impacting all those people in your life. And that, that's very important. So I'm glad you made that point. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Well, awesome. I'm, I'm thrilled that you're doing better. Please keep us posted. And I'm, I'm very confident that the road ahead for you will be a, a steady trend line upward. There may be a few bumps in the road. And that's just part of being a human and not being a machine. Um, but I think you're on a really excellent path. And I'm super happy to hear it. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Thank you.